Hey guys, I'm Faye. This is Lost and Wandering, and I'm going to do a Halloween tag since it's so close to Halloween. Um, okay, so I'm, I've got 13 questions, which I will put in the description box below, um, links to anything that, um, is relevant, um, to any of the questions, but, uh, will be in the description box below as well, so. Question number one, favorite Halloween song. So, I kind of struggled with this because I, I like classical music. But is it really a song or is it just music? Um, so I'm going to say both. Uh, my favorite Halloween song is Superstition by Stevie Wonder. But my favorite Halloween uh, music is the Dance Macabre by, I have to look this up every time. This is like the third time I've done this mo this video and this is like the third, like every time I have to look it up. Uh, Camille Saint, Hints. I'll put it mm, right here. Um, but it's the Dance Macabre and it sounds like this. Um, okay, so second question is witches or vampires? If you had asked me when I was six or seven, I would have said vampires, uh, no question. Um, that was the year, when I was about six or seven, was the year that The Little Vampire came out, um, and I loved that movie. I watched it a million times. My favorite part was when the cows were vampires. <laughs> It was that ridiculous. I'll probably watch that movie again this year along with Hocus Pocus, but, um, yeah, so back then I would have said vampires, but, you know, being a witch now, I kind of have to say my favorite is being a witch because they're real, so. Uh, favorite thing about Halloween. I think my favorite thing about Halloween is the fact that it's a night holiday. Um, there aren't a lot of them in our culture, and Halloween is dominantly predominantly um celebrated at night and i'm kind of nocturnal by nature anyways so that's probably my favorite thing about halloween uh question number four halloween party or scary movie well in the past they've always kind of gone hand in hand um when i was in high school uh charlie and i had a friend named Sydney and she would have a Halloween party and a birthday party um, not together like twice a year but every time she had a party we knew it was mostly going to be about um, scary movies so what we would do is we would go over to her house and we'd sleep over and we would watch scary movies not all not just three of us there was always like five or six or seven girls there but we'd um but it was a Halloween party <laughs> and uh, we would watch scary movies all night long so um yeah i would so i would i would have to say scary movie though um because i'm a little bit socially awkward i think in the future there's a well there's a um witches 
ball or something. I think it's in Dallas um, here in Texas. And I would like to attend that at some point. And I think it's, if not on Halloween, it's around Halloween. So I would like to do that at some point. Um, skeletons or zombies? Uh, zombies. I feel like skeletons aren't really that scary. Um, I think it's probably due to, like, our education and our culture because, um, just taking a science class at, uh, at school growing up, you kind of become familiar with the bones in the body. You, but you, you become familiar with them. It doesn't, it's suddenly not scary. Um, I mean, you still associate, like, skulls in particular with death, but when you see a whole skeleton, you kind of think of, like, cute little things like that, um, bone guy in, uh, I'll tell you a story skeleton cry of our own jubiliciously uh, but... Skeletons aren't that scary. I think what's scary about zombies is that they don't exist. They're entirely fictional. So you can really go any way you wanted with them. Um, they, they're kind of lumped together with like vampires and werewolves, um, I guess. Because those things are either entirely fictional or they're based off of some sort of psychological um, tweaking or disorder. I think... Uh, like for werewolves, it's um, lunacy. Is it lunacy? It's where like people will black out and do terrible things, and um, they describe it as like an, a need that sort of builds up, and then like they feel like it's their animal instincts coming out and they'll black out and do like horrible things The in some cases they kill people in some cases they I don't know do other things and um in some cases it also tends to coincide with the full moon so that's like an actual psychological disorder that some people have which is what werewolves are I'm pretty sure based off of as well as like the um overly there's like a genetic disorder where some people will d will um they have uh, hair all over their body, not just um, like me, just, you know, where it's typical. Um, the, the, like, peach fuzz or whatever that grows on their um, skin is darker and thicker and longer. Um, uh, werewolves are also probably based off of, and with zombies, they say that it's like partially brainwashing and partially like drug psychedelic drug overdoses and in, in some cases um people essentially use drug use drugs and hypnotism and brainwashing in order to like get you to think and feel and do certain things and um they just do that like they it's like a process i feel I think, I'm not entirely sure, I'm going to have to look this up, but um, I'm pretty sure that it's just something that's typically practiced um, in middle, like Mesoamerica, if not South, as far as South America. It's not like the flesh eating, like, I'm dead but my brain is still alive and only its basest instincts are alive and they're kind of twisted. You know, it's not the actual thing. But because in our society that's what we do with things that we don't understand, we like twist them and turn them into something even more scary. Um, you can go any which way you wanted really with um, zombies. I think they have. Um, after, uh, I mean they've made it a comedy with Shaun of the Dead. They've really done up the horror movies with 28 Days Later. Zombieland is another comedy. Um, I love zombie movies, by the way. Can I just say? What is it called? Oh, Warm Bodies. Also, I read that, um, I read that book. It was super cute. <laughs> I liked it a lot. Long explanation for why I choose zombies, but yeah, zombies. Uh... <laughs> 
Favorite Halloween candy? So I have several. I don't, I don't really have one of anything. But um, my favorite Halloween candies are the Score and Heath bars, which are basically the same thing. So either one is totally fine with me. Um, anything Reese's, like Reese's Pieces or Reese's Cups or um, not the Reese's Crunch bar, but there's like. I think it's like a Reese's Fast Bar or something. It's like, it's like a Reese's Cup, but it has like nougat in it. Or, yeah, it's like, it's like a Reese's Cup in that it's like basically just chocolate and um, peanut butter, but there's also some nougat in it, and I really like it. It's like a really long bar, and I used to get it every morning um, when I didn't get like the Snickers squared or whatever. I like those too. Um, or Butterfingers love Butterfingers. So yeah. Those are my favorite Halloween candies. Favorite Halloween movie? Um, hands down Halloween. Um, it's, what's in a name? I mean, <laughs> even though it's called Halloween, if it wasn't called Halloween, I probably still would love it. It's about Halloween. It's a, like, takes place on Halloween. It's called Halloween. It takes place on Halloween every year. And it's a fucking classic people. I freaking love this movie. And they've done a lot of adaptions. I like any, I like Halloween the original and I also like any adaptions of the first movie. Um, I don't know about any like Jason versus like Freddy Krueger or anything like that. I don't really like when things cross over. However, um, I will watch them. I like, th I mean, I like them, but I wouldn't recommend them, really. So, uh, basically anything having to do with Halloween, uh, the Halloween scary movies, but I also, you know, my other favorite Halloween movies are Hocus Pocus. Um, I will, I'm one of those, like, weirdos that watches cute little movies, too, so I like, um, Mickey's House of Villains, too, and, um, I mentioned another one before. Well, obviously, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, Corpse Bride, and, um, I hate Wizard of Oz. I will not watch that on fucking Halloween. Ugh. But, you know, basically everything that goes along with that. So, um, but yes, hands down, Halloween. Um, alright, that's my favorite Halloween movie, favorite Halloween costume. So, every year, I'd always ask to be a witch. Um, I wasn't always one. Sometimes my mom dressed me up like, well, when I was six, or no, not when I was six, when I was younger than that, uh, like four or five, maybe. Um, uh, my mom dressed my sister and I both up as angels, and we went around the neighborhood because, you know, we were fundamentalist Christians and we had to evangelize on Halloween obviously so uh yeah we did that <laughs> um and then I feel like and I I didn't think of this at the time but it's kind of funny that when I turned 13 um I dressed up in a uh strapless like black and red plaid dress that I'd gotten at Hot Topic and it was corseted and everything I had a um red mask and black wings and I went as a fallen angel for Halloween so <laughs> um, but that was a little bittersweet one of my favorite Halloween costumes and I like it just because of the like contrast between um, when I was younger and I was still kind of like under my parents influence even though I don't think I ever really believed in in God essentially I just kind of it was just kind of something that I grew up with and was there anything else? <laughs> but, uh, and then when I turned, like, around 13 was when I started to explore other venues and other options in, um, religion. And philosophy, really, is what it comes down to, is philosophy. But, um, yeah, so it's almost like it was a big, like, F you to my parents. But I don't, <laughs> I didn't realize it at the time. But, yeah, that's kind of what it was. <laughs> um, it wasn't, like, intentional or anything. But I think that that's kind of funny. And I never really was, so, whatever. Favorite Halloween store? This is easy. Um, it's actually not a Halloween store. It's open all year round here in Austin, um, but it might as well be. It's called Lucy in Disguise. Lucy in Disguise. It's off of South 
of Congress in Austin, Texas, and it's the best costume store hands down. They have everything. Like, you could go as a Disney character, like, for example, Esmeralda. This is an actual costume that they have in multiples there. Um, and they're, like, actually hung up, like, on hangers and, like, someone is probably in the back, like, making these costumes. They're not, like, the shrink-wrapped, widely, like, spread out costumes. They are handmade, hand-sewn, hand, like, boned corsets, you know, like, legit shit. And they sell everything from, like, wigs to shoes to belts, cinch belts anything that you could possibly need to complete any look like you it's a one-stop shop for a costume putting your own costume together and it's great I fucking love that place and um, it's open all year round so if you're ever in Austin and you want to have a really awesome Halloween costume any time of the year you can get it so um, it's also really great for picking up stuff for, like, Renaissance festivals and, you know, whatever else meets your fancy, like LARPing maybe, I don't know. I don't know what you guys do in your free time, but, you know, just so you know. Uh, jack-o'-lanterns? This is the question, jack-o'-lanterns? Um, I guess that's asking if we're going to do them. I want to. I don't know if we can afford it, but I really, I really want to um, carve jack-o'-lanterns out on our balcony and put them out and let those be like the candles that guide the, um, the dead through the veil while it's still thin. Um, typical Samhain, uh, tradition. Um, so yes, if I can. No, if I can't. If it's asking if I like jack-o'-lanterns, fuck yeah, they're fucking awesome done moving on bats or black cats uh black cats in uh sinti or romani culture um black cats are actually good luck and being a witch <laughs> i kind of my favorite thing is when my cat eris she like does that like she gets on her haunches and she like arches her back i know that she's just stretching but i'm like oh she's in her witch cat pose like i say that to my boyfriend all the time every time she does it and she's a cutest little thing She's not a completely black cat, though. She's black and white. She's a little tuxedo cat. But, um, yes, I would definitely say black cats. Um, I like bats, though. Would I get one? No. Um, would I, like, actively, you know, try to interact with one? No. Um, here in Austin, bats are kind of a big thing. Um, the river bats, that's, like our hockey they or that was our hockey team um here was the austin river bats um and every night there's like a a few um restaurants downtown that make a good bundle off of uh charging people at like prime time for to like in order to watch the bats go like go out from under the bridge um over our river so yeah Bats are kind of a big thing here, but, um, I definitely pick black cats over bats any day. Number 12, is Halloween your favorite holiday? Um, it is now. Uh, growing up, I didn't really have a favorite holiday. I mean, other than, I guess, like, if I'm being really honest, Christmas, just because you get presents, but that was, like, more of a kid thing than a, like, spirit of the holiday kind of thing. And anytime I was ever asked, I never said Christmas, though. I said, um, Halloween. And I think, I think it, that's probably because it, it is my favorite holiday to a degree, but you only really get candy. So the, like, greedy child in me was like, oh, Christmas, hands down. But the, like, other half of me that was like, if I'm being really honest... Um, I like getting presents, so if my birthday isn't a holiday, can Christmas be a holiday <laughs> kind of thing. So, it's, it was somewhere in between Christmas and Halloween. Nowadays, definitely Halloween. Christmas, it's a rough time with me and my family, um, uh, seeing as, like, that's not really something that I, I believe in, but... 
or at least what Christmas stands for for them is not what Christmas stands for for me, so there's a lot of friction. <laughs> but, uh, so Halloween is definitely my favorite because it's expected that everyone is going to celebrate it. Last but not least, pumpkin spice or hot chocolate? The fact that this fucking question is on here kind of pisses me off, if I'm being really honest. Hot chocolate, all the way. I drink hot chocolate all year round. I don't care if it's not the right time for hot chocolate. I drink hot chocolate. Um, pumpkin spice. Ugh. The fact, I'm really just kind of pissed off about the, like, that every Halloween, it comes out on the internet like, oh, you know it's Halloween, or like, you know it's fall when pumpkin spice lattes come to fucking Starbucks, and like, because you're white, you have to like pumpkin spice. I don't like pumpkin shit. I don't like pumpkin anything. I don't like pumpkin anything. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin nothing. I fucking hate pump. I mean, I like pumpkin seeds, but the salted kinds that you like buy, but I just don't. I can't. I like pumpkin seeds as a snack. I will never consume anything remotely pumpkin flavored outside of that. They're the mo it's the most disgusting thing ever. So I'm not a big gourd person in general. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching my video. If you watched it all the way through, you are officially tagged. So please, um, you know, do it. Uh, copy me in on it. I would really like to see what your answers to these questions are. So, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you uh, liked my video slash liked me. So, um, I love you guys. Take care. I think it was one, I think it was a Disney movie, or like a Disney Channel movie, um, even. What is it with cats in boxes? This is the first cat I've ever owned, so if you guys own cats, please let me know what the whole obsession is with boxes, because I don't, I don't understand it. Anyways. This face, though. Stop it! your face and